it's lunchtime. Hello everyone, so happy Monday. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna be talking a little bit about um, if you've been catching yourself feeling that um, you're having a lack of money for your acting and you're feeling that that is the reason why you can't move forward or you can't get to the place that you wanna get to. I see a lot of actors who are starting to move in our community <clears throat> And who are saying, yeah, like I don't have enough money to move to the right city or I don't have enough money for new headshots or I don't have the money for, you know, to upgrade my reel or, you know, I don't have money to train. I don't um, have money for this or that, for all of the things that are necessary to jump into your favorite endeavor. Right. And so I wanted to do this live because I know it can be um It can be very uncomfortable to deal with money and um, there's different levels at which we all deal with money. It's an energy and um, it enables us to find safety, roof, food, and this, to get the stuff we need to get. And so it can be a very um, taboo topic for a lot of people. And um, you know, you may have tried to just try to figure it out and get two or three jobs, or you may have tried to just wait for the right moment to actually invest in yourself in your acting career. And yet you're still feeling ah, like that you're coming from a place of lack, uh, basically. And so that can be uncomfortable and it's not giving you the type of energy and results that you want, right? So the way I would like for us to um, move through this, this conversation is to actually get to the root cause of the money topic. And um, usually what I'll do with actors when they start um, moving through our community and working with us is we talk about the mindset of being responsible and we talk about throwing your hat. So I'll go over those two things. When you're making outside circumstances responsible for how you're feeling and um, who you're being and what you're doing and having, you're giving away your power to that external circumstance. So money is, is that external stuff that you need and until you have the money, then you'll be able to show up the way you want, then you'll be able to get the results you want. And I wanna make sure that you don't continue looping inside of that story. Because the problem is that if you're making the money or any other outside circumstance responsible for how you're feeling and what you're doing, you're giving your power away to that, right? So taking responsibility does not mean you're at fault, but it does mean that you have the power. And so when you have the power, you're able to make your own decisions and to not be at the mercy of, oh, when this happens, then I'll be happy. Or when I get more money, then I'll be happy. Or when I get to that amount, then I'll feel better and safe. Or when I have this relationship, then I'll be better. Or when I have, you know, whatever out there done, then I'll be happy. And usually that doesn't work. So what we do when we start coaching with actors or other artists in our community, what we do is we talk about throwing your hat. And throwing your hat means that if you really do want something, if it really is important for you, if you are passionate about it, throwing your hat means you decide, you declare that you are going to get what you say you want to get, feel what you say you want to feel, even if you don't know how. So the difference would be if I'm not throwing my hat, let's say I want to get to from here, from A to Z, and I'm not throwing my hat, I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to get to Z no matter what. Well, I have the, you know, I can stay in my comfort zone and say, well, yeah, but the weather is not nice. I don't have enough money. My relationship's going astray, whatever. I feel sick. I feel tired. I feel this or that. And therefore, I'm I'm not moving my chip to Z, right? If I am in a container where I am encouraged to throw my hat to take to take responsibility for my, my power and to say, I want to get to Z and I declare I'm going to get to Z, 
even if I don't know how, what happens is that you're going to deploy the energy and the powers to get to see. You're going to find the solutions. You're going to have some synchronicity happening. You're going to have some creative ideas. You're going to collaborate with someone. You're going to make it happen, actually. And it's a little bit like in, in the movie business. A movie is created out of nothing, literally. But people get together and put a date, put a starting to shoot date, a day one. And no one knows how any of it is going to happen. But until you put that shooting date, none of the elements will start to collaborate to get there. And it's the same thing for you. If you're wanting as an actor to expand, if you're a working actor already, or if you're wanting as an actor to start because you're just at the beginning, but you're finding yourself always looping around, I don't have enough money to make it happen, or I don't have enough whatever, like I don't look the right way, or I didn't get the right teacher, or no matter what external excuse, it means that you're hiding. It means that you're not throwing your hat. It means that you're here at A saying you want to be a Z, but you're looking around and finding all the reasons why you can't. The hero's journey is really to have all those reasons be there. It doesn't mean it's easy. It doesn't mean you mean that you have no circumstances and no obstacles, but it means that even if you have some obstacles, you're going to walk that path no matter what. And you're going to figure it out as you go. You're going to gather the elements, the collaborations, the creativity, the energy, the power, the new resources, and you're going to get there, right? If you don't do that, you're going to continue looping at A, blaming everything, in this case, usually money, scarcity, lack, for you not being able to move, right? So remember that any big endeavor starts from scratch with nothing. And from the nothingness, you can go, this is where I'm heading and I'm actually going to get there. How? I have no idea. But I'm going to make that jump. I'm going to throw my hat. And then I'm going to go get my hat. How? I have no idea. But I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Because anything that's going to be important to you is going to be scary. Buying a house is scary. Getting married is scary. Having children is scary. Uh, going on a trip is scary. Changing country is scary. Starting the career of your dreams is scary. All the juicy things in life, anything that's actually really yummy and that we all want to live is on the edge. It's scary. There's a lot that you're putting on the table when you're doing big things. And that fear doesn't mean that you need to stay in your sofa and not do anything about it. It means that when you're truly alive, really going for what you have in your heart, in your soul, and you're walking through the steps, even if you're, they're challenging, you're moving, you're growing, you're expanding, you're gathering more help as you go. And you're determined, you never let go, you're committed. You've thrown your hat and you're going to get your hat back. How? You don't know. It doesn't matter. Life will tell you the experience, the moment, my moment, the being present will show you how. But if you stay with A and you never say you're going to get to Z, you never make that decision and that declaration, you'll never get to Z because there'll always be a million circumstances, including money, that will tell you, oh no, this is a little uncomfortable. Let's not do it, right? So it's okay to not do it. I'm not saying it's good or bad. But if you really are a passionate artist, if you really are meant to act in your heart and you know it and that's the only thing you're meant to do and you can't wait and you're starving when you don't do it throw your hat commit invest in yourself and and risk to be burnt risk to fall on your face and you'll get back up if you're just navigating your dream hiding and protecting yourself looping in fear and scar and scarcity you're not opening your wings. You're not going to be able to really go towards what you're wanting. 
So I hope that this was helpful. If you're wanting some more information, let us know. Um, we can send you some free trainings. We have a free training that's called um, Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor So You Have a Chance of Being Great. And um, that might be helpful. Um, if you want more um, information about the deeper work that we do, you can send us a DM and we'll send you some information or the wait list for when registration opens. All right, thank you guys, bye.